Hey guys, welcome to the week here at the Gi Course. And today we're gonna do a little bit more of the knee shield. Specifically, we're gonna go into the single leg X and finish off with a back take. So we're gonna go through some of the details that we did last time, starting off from the entry point. And so we are looking for the collar and sleeve grip here while we have the knee shield position, right? So like we talked about earlier, I always wanna control this sleeve, making sure I have uh, the control over the distance so he doesn't come all the way close and grabs my collar and brings me in that that mm, things will get worse right so I'm always trying to bring this knee on the inside of my wrist this way I can kind of push and control as well as I really reinforce the grip or the pushing with my arm and so what I'm trying to do here is to create a little bit of momentum forward I'm trying to almost sweep him in a way just to make him come back and give me the reaction that I want so I'm going to be pushing this arm in and I'm gonna be using my shin and my foot to kind of hook his armpit on the same side here. This way I can kind of make him go forward, okay? And to some degree, I mean, maybe some people will fall for this, but you know, they have a free leg, they can base out, it should be nice and easy for them to come back again and again, right? So they're gonna come back in, and now I'm gonna slide this knee under his armpit, okay? So once I have this knee popping out behind his armpit, I'll use this to keep opening the position as well as I have this knuckle on his neck here with the collar grip, right? So I'm using this to open up and I'm looking to bring his thigh up here, right? Sometimes I'm gonna be able to connect my heel to his hip bone straight away, but if he's really heavy with his knee on the floor uh, like this, I will have to be really good at pushing with this knee to get his knee off the floor. This way I can start working the same position here, okay? Once we're here, I'm always trying to pinch a little bit and stay tight, but I'm also engaging my hips. This way I can keep his leg off the floor here. And I can start looking to underhook with this arm and grab his pants here, okay? You'll see that I'm maintaining the grip on his collar. This way I can actually continue to kind of push him away and I can always make him to angle away from me, right? As well as I'm gonna be utilizing it for a later purpose. But of course, sometimes people are gonna break this grip early on and then it's uh, fine, but then I'll just work without it, right? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna lift up this leg, okay? And as we're working here, I'm gonna be looking to hook the far thigh here with the leg that's on the back, okay? As well as I'm bringing the near leg here on the on front, I'm gonna bring my knee behind the leg that I'm alleviating, okay? You'll see that I'm still holding onto the collar and so the grip, on the collar just remains going under his leg, okay? So this buys me quite some time because I'm kind of bending him together and I still have the pressure behind both of his thighs. So if Christian wants to move a little bit and work around, I have a good enough time to start working my grip on his pants or maybe even the belt, depending on what's available, right? So now if Christian really wants to move, it's hard. He's not going anywhere, at least not without me. So now I'm already trying to sit up a little bit but as I feel like I need to let go of the grip of the collar, I'm gonna let go and then start stretching and pulling his hips down. So once we're here, now I just need to set up the seat belt, boom, and then get my hooks in, and then we're ready to attack from the back. So from the beginning, got the sleeve, got the collar, making sure I'm using my knee uh, like meaningfully, I guess. So here I'm pushing him forward. And when he comes back, I bring my knee behind and I alleviate his leg. Under hooking, grabbing the pants, lifting up. Now I'm gonna hook the far leg and bring my knee under the near leg here, okay? So once I'm here, I'm still holding onto the collar and I can start now to look for grip on the pants or on the belt, right? Once I have the belt here, I'm just looking to kind of bring myself as far as I can up before I need to let go of the grip on his collar. So I'm coming up here and I'm gonna stretch and pull him down, okay? Once we're here, I connect, get the seat belt, and then set up the hooks. One last time.
And there we have it. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Was.